Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Joffrey. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you. India's defense minister says Pakistan will have to bear consequences for atrocities in POK. Nawaz Sharif links PTI's long march to Pakistan Army Chief's appointment. And closed Afghan girls' schools having adverse effect was cigar. And now for all the details. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Thursday said Pakistan will have to bear the consequences of committing atrocities against people in Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Hinting at retrieving the territory, Singh said our mission will be completed only when we reach our paths of Gilgit and Baltistan under Pakistan's illegal occupation. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Thursday said Pakistan is committing atrocities against people in its occupied Kashmir and will have to bear its consequences. The Defence Minister made the remarks while attending the 76th Infantry Day celebrations to mark the landing by Indian Air Force on this day in Kashmir in 1947 to defend the Indian territory from Pakistani aggression. Hinting at retrieving the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, the minister said the goal of overall development in the twin union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh will be achieved after reaching Gilgit and Baltistan under Pakistan's illegal occupation. और उसके रूप हम अपने बाकी बचे हिस्से जैसे गिलगित और बालिस्तान तक बालतिस्तान तक पहुंचे India has long called upon Pakistan to vacate areas of Jammu and Kashmir under its illegal occupation, stating that they are integral and inalienable part of India. People in the illegally occupied Pakistan administered Kashmir blame. Even after 75 years, they are denied basic fundamental rights by Islamabad and are meted out with severe brutality for voicing their concerns. In a landmark decision, India's men's and women's national cricket teams will be paid the same appearance fee to represent their country, Board of Control for Cricket in India Secretary Jay Shah said on Thursday. India's cricket governing body on Thursday announced an equal match fee for both its men's and women's cricketers. BCCI Secretary Jay Shah took to his official Twitter handle to announce the historical development. The agreement will see women's players at international level receive the same match fees as men across all formats. 15 lakh rupees for tests, 6 lakh rupees for one-day internationals and 300,000 rupees for 2020 internationals. Women cricket ka ek bahut bada respect aur ek atmavishwas. वो 100% बहुत डेवलप होगा कि कि हमें हमारी क्रिकेट इक्वल टू मेन क्रिकेट अब है और हमें वो रिस्पेक्ट बीसीसीआई ने दिया है अब वही चीज अब अब स्टेट वाइज भी अगर करेंगे कि वही उनका भी मैच फीस अगर बढ़ाई जाए तो हमारी क्रिकेट और भी जल्दी मतलब इक्वल टू मेंस क्रिकेट आ जाएगी मेनी एक्स क्रिकेटर्स वेलकम द डिसीजन लेजेंडरी इंडियन क्रिकेटर सचिन तेंदुलकर टॉक टू सोशल मीडिया टू लॉर्ड बीसीसीआई एंड कॉलिंग द अनाउंसमेंट एन इक्वलाइजर Former Indian women team captain Mithali Raj hailed the move on Twitter as historic. Indian women's cricketers currently earn 400,000 Indian rupees for test appearances and 100,000 for T20s and ODIs and also play less cricket than their male counterparts. Under their current annual contracts, women cricketers in the highest bracket earn 5 million rupees while grade B players take home 3 million and grade C 1 million. Men in the grade A plus bracket are paid 70 million, with those in grades A, B and C taking home 50 million, 30 million and 10 million respectively. Meaning, 
the lowest graded male cricketers still earn twice as much as top tier women cricketers. The top leadership of Pakistan's ruling PMLN has blasted opposition PTI chairman Imran Khan for the long march rally to capital Islamabad, terming it not a revolution but an attempt to install an army chief of his own choice. The government has said it will also call in the armed forces to deal with the participants of the rally. Pakistan's ruling PMLN party supremo Nawaz Sharif on Wednesday said that opposition PTI party chief Imran Khan's long march to capital Islamabad is not for any revolution but is aimed at the appointment of the army chief of his choice. Sharif said that with undeniable proof of a rupees 50 billion dacoity in the foreign funding and Toshkhana cases, Imran Khan has proved to be the biggest thief of history. Khan has announced the Long March Rally on October 28 to call for early elections, a demand which has been rejected by the ruling coalition. People Imran Khan has seen that in his four years of government, which one has taken the people. This is only the chief of the army staff who wants to take the Imran Khan to take the Imran Khan to take Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif also criticised the timing of the PTI's march and said Imran Khan is playing a dangerous game by using tragic killing of journalist Arshad Sharif for petty politics and going to the extent of casting aspersions on state institutions. The Supreme Court this week rejected the federal government's request to immediately stop the long march, saying that no one can be deprived of the right to protest. The federal government has said it will call in the armed forces to deal with the participants of the rally and to avoid any untoward incident. Moving on. Residents in Pakistan administered Kashmir have said they are fed up of frequent price hikes amid the ongoing economic crisis that has particularly hit the poor. Locals say the illegally occupied region, which is already marginalized, has borne the major brunt of unfair taxes while they see no policies for their welfare. Residents in Pakistan administered Kashmir have said they are fed up of skyrocketing prices of all essentials, including fruits and vegetables. While the government has failed to control inflation, a local journalist said the fuel prices have reduced in global markets, but the transporters who supply food items have refused to bring down transportation costs, which has subsequently led to no reduction in prices of all other essential items. This has been annoying the public at large, while the government has no policy to keep a check. तो वाज़ जो है वो सारी पेट्रोल की मुसीबत में से कमी के बावजूद जो है वो प्राइस कंट्रोल कमेटी जो है वो दुकानदारों से जो है वो रेट कम करने में नाकाम हो चुकी है इसी तरह अगर हम दालों या चावल या आटा की बात करें तो वो भी जो है वो उसी तरह रेट जो है वो आसमान से बातें कर रहे हैं सरिया सीमेंट प Pakistan in recent months has been witnessing economic challenges owing to its incompetent policies. Locals say the occupied region of Pakistan administered Kashmir, which is already marginalized, has borne the major brunt of unfair taxes, while there is no development in sight since the past many years. The U.S. government's oversight authority in a recent report has expressed concern about the closure of secondary schools for girls in Afghanistan for more than one year. It said that the move has resulted in an overall reduction in school and university enrollment. The U.S. government's leading oversight authority, Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, SIGAR, in a recent report has expressed concern about the closure of schools for Afghan girls above grade 6 for more than one year. In its report about the Taliban's takeover risks, it states that prohibiting girls from attending schools has had an adverse effect and resulted in an overall reduction in school and university enrollment. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken earlier this month announced new restrictions on the issuance of visas for the current or former Taliban members believed to be responsible for or complicit in repressing women and girls in Afghanistan through restrictive policies and violence. 
Blinken said these sanctions are being imposed because despite public assurance of respecting human rights, the ruling Taliban has enforced a series of policies or edicts that effectively bar women and girls from full participation in public life, including access to secondary education and work in most industries. No country has so far recognized the Taliban's regime in Afghanistan. The country's assets have remained frozen due to sanctions that have severely hampered banking, business and development, leading to greater insecurity, poverty and isolation. The Indian relatives of Britain's Rishi Sunak beamed with pride as they celebrated his appointment as Prime Minister by cutting a cake in Lodhiana city on Wednesday. A Hindu by religion, Sunak is Britain's first Prime Minister of Indian origin. Newly appointed British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's Indian relatives beamed with pride as they cut a cake to celebrate Sunak assuming his new role in Ludhiana city on Wednesday. Sunak's maternal uncles Rakesh Sood and Subhash Berry fed each other cakes as they gathered with other relatives to commemorate their nephew's win. Walking down memory lane, Sood displayed an old photograph of himself with Sunak's parents Usha and Yashvir Sunak and Usha's sister and Sood's wife Veena Sood. <laughs> A Hindu, Sunak is Britain's first Prime Minister of Indian origin. Being one of the richest men in Parliament, he will have to find deep spending cuts to plug an estimated £40 billion hole in the public finances. He is tasked with tackling a mounting economic crisis, a warring political party and a deeply divided country in one of the greatest challenges to confront any new leader. In a bizarre Hindu ritual in the hinterland of central India, devotees were seen prostrating on the ground as cows galloped over them. The odd tradition was observed as the devout sought blessings from cows on the Gai Gauri Puja or Cow Worshipping Festival. Take a look. Devotees in India's central Ujjain city allowed cows to run over them as they participated in a peculiar tradition to mark Gai Gauri Puja or cow worship on Wednesday. Religious fervor gripped residents of Bhirawat, a village about 75 kilometers away from the central temple town of Ujjain, who danced to drum beats and offered prayers in the temple. The horns of the cows were decorated with paints, balloons and other items as they ran over devotees who were lying on their stomachs on the ground. और किसी प्रकार की किसी को भी कोई हानि आज दिन तक हमें देखने में नहीं मिली तो कह सकते हैं अपन के वास्तव में एक देवी चमत्कार हैं और माता जी की मनोकामना पूरी भी करती है हमको कुछ भी महसूस नहीं होता हम मतलब फूल की तरह निकल जाते हैं हमें कुछ महसूस नहीं होता गौ माता में शक्ति रहती है जिससे हमें कोई मतलब ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है जिसके हानि होने होना चाहिए दी फेस्टिवल इज हेल्ड अ डे आफ्टर द हिंदू फेस्टिवल ऑफ लाइट्स दिवाली but it was postponed to avoid the negative effects of the solar eclipse, said media reports. The ritual is considered to bring the blessings of cows, which Hindus consider as mothers and holy, because of being an integral part of an average villager's life, as they provide them everything from dairy products to farm assistance and more. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.